I'm Cassandra Vincent. I'm a resident of Baltimore City, and I am extremely passionate about developing communities and people in those communities. And I um, am really passionate about uh, the most vulnerable residents of our city, making sure that they are not forgotten. And so I'm really passionate about helping women, about helping veterans, and helping those who are struggling with affordable housing. And of course, those who are impacted by um, some of our most challenging social uh, issues, such as unemployment, underemployment. My project involves uh, launching one of Baltimore's first tiny home villages. I think that this village would be an amazing answer to some of the blighted uh, and social issues that we see here in the city. I believe that a tiny home community could be the answer to some of the affordable housing challenges that we have. Um, I believe that in, in doing so, it's not just a tiny home community, but it's like really creating a community where we are creating jobs, where we are creating safe homes and healthy neighborhoods and using these blighted spaces to now bring life in it, green spaces, create gardens, create small uh, establishments where it's really creating a sustainable community. I grew up in East Baltimore. My grandparents came here back in the 50s and um, for a short period I actually lived in West Memphis, Arkansas where you know there's a bunch of everything looks feels and looks like family and home and there was a bit of a culture shock when I came back to Baltimore where there were like homes that were you knew they were homes at one time but now they were dilapidated and I would drive through the city and see just some of the most troubling scenes right you were it was just a culture shock and so now living in the city, graduated from Morgan State University and now living in the city um, myself, I'm still seeing, 20 years later, still seeing these blighted homes and seeing um, what are now properties, uh, but they were once homes. And so I've been intrigued for years about like, how do we restore um, these neighborhoods so that they become homes like they were when my grandparents first moved here. You see models of it already um, where there are beautiful gardens that are growing in the city. Let's add some affordable homes and my, uh, tiny homes. Let's try that model. Um, let's, let's try creating a co-working space in some of the most um, vulnerable communities and places where people need jobs. Let's do the trainings um, and let's find ways to really uh, create a marketplace for people to, to work in those communities as well where there are food deserts to sell <laughs> the things that they're growing in the garden. My hope is that, the, uh, that my project will impact uh, women and men who may have lost their hope uh, for jobs and who may have lost their hope for living in and working in a beautiful community. I hope to impact and create jobs and um, also looking forward to creating a more healthier Baltimore. The funds will definitely help me to continue my research and development of this project. It's going to be a tremendous help for that. The hashtag MyBeMore, it's a wonderful way for other residents and neighbors to stay connected to like what's going on. There are times where you just don't know what's going on, but it's like this ability, it's become a campaign and this movement where you can tell your story and others will find out about it. So it's, it's pretty, pretty cool.